Hello, this is Bern, and on today's episode, I'm going to share with you how you can stop wasting unnecessary time with men who can't commit and finally open up your heart for the relationship that you crave. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to another edition of BernMendez.com, a space where I share with conscious, successful, ambitious, and heart-centered women how you can attract the man you want and step into the best relationship of your life so far as a direct result of being the most feminine, the most open, and the most connected you. Now, the first thing I want to share, if you have had the experience of wasting time with men, and I'm talking months and sometimes years, only to find out that it was the wrong relationship, that he couldn't commit, that it was painful, and you could have realized it earlier, this message is for you because the last thing I want is for you to waste any more time. Life is too short to waste it running around in circles. You want to go in a, as much as a straight line as you can, knowing that there's no straight lines in life, but there's certainly circles are not the way to go. The first thing I want to share is that it's not complicated. Here's what I mean. A lot of women feel like the relationship they're in is complicated, and I'm here to share with you that it really isn't. And I'll share with you a few points to bring about what I mean. First point I want to share with you, he's either ready for a relationship or he isn't. Think about it. Too many of you are waiting for guys to finally go through emotional puberty and get to the point in their lives where they're finally ready to be in a committed relationship because you like them, because you enjoy their company, because they're charismatic, because the sex is great, for whatever reason. But you're not necessarily seeing that he's not ready yet. And if you're with a guy who is not ready to be in a relationship, and you are, I'm gonna tell you right now, you're gonna suffer. And the uncomplicated part about it is that you can tell if a guy is committed or not. You can tell if a guy wants to move forward or not. You can tell if you have to do all the things for him to wake up or if he can wake up on his own, right? Second point I want to share with you, he either likes you enough to pursue you or he doesn't. And it could be that he likes you enough but doesn't want to pursue you, which is worthless to you anyways, right? So think about it this way. Again, too many women are forcing things with a guy who cannot commit or can commit but isn't truly interested in them. So they find themselves inviting him, asking him out, reminding him of her existence. And that's rarely the way to go, because if you have to remind a guy you exist for him to remember you, then it's probably not, you didn't cause such a great impact in him. If, if you cause an impact in him, and he is ready for a relationship and he likes you, he will move things forward. You can be open, but you don't have to do a lot for him to show, I mean, you just have to show up and he will make things happen. Another point that's really important for you, as you think about wasting time with men, he either the guy that you're interested in has a plan for his life. There's three specific stages he could be in. He has a plan for his life and he's executing it. He doesn't have, a, I mean, he, he, he's working to create a plan because he's in that growth pace, space. He doesn't have it yet, but he's doing things to create a plan and make his life work. Or he's clueless and he doesn't have a plan for his life and he's not making it work. Now, the vast majority of women who would find themselves in painful situations with guys are the guys who are either clueless about the purpose in life or working to create it in an unambitious way. If you're far more ambitious than he is and he really has no desire, no hunger to make his life better, you're gonna have to be a mommy of sorts with him and the relationship will be imbalanced. You want for a guy, if he's gonna offer you a life of meaning, to know why he's here, what on earth is he doing? If he can't figure out why he's here, what value can he sustainably bring to your life? It's gonna be hard for him to do that. Next thing I wanna share with you is he's either mostly respectful and kind or mostly unkind. Think about it. How does he react? How does he interact with you? What are his thoughts and his actions towards you? If they're mostly respectful and he has moments of unkindness, well, that's one thing. But if he's mostly unkind, then what are you doing with him? Are you trying to teach him kindness? Do you have a project in your hands? Do you like a uh, play psychologist and therapist with your guy? If that's not the case, then you should let him and his unkindness find roots somewhere else. Another one which gets a lot of women because many women who are single and have not been married yet 
want children. So I'll spell it out for you. He either wants children or he doesn't. Fundamentally, he either wants children more or he doesn't want children more. And if you do want children, he doesn't. And you're just hoping that he changes his mind, that he sees the light in your eyes, that he becomes paternal in nature down the line. I mean, could it happen? Yes. Are you wasting your time? Most likely, because you want him to be someone he's not. So if it's important for you to have children and he doesn't want children or he's unsure about it, do not start a relationship with him. It's going to be painful at best. Next one, he either wants marriage or he doesn't. I can't tell you how many women have come to me for help when I ask them, do you want to get married? Uh, and they say, uh, I don't know. And when I push them a little bit harder, they say, I do. So think about the difference in that stance. If you're saying to yourself, lying to yourself, saying that you don't want to get married, and you connect with a guy who says, I don't want to get married, because you told a lie to yourself, you might say, well, that works for me. But if you know the truth, and I'm not saying the truth has to be you want to get married, you may not want to, but if you do in your heart of hearts want to get married, and you're connecting with guys who are ambivalent about it, or don't want to, you're wasting your time. <laughs> last one I'll share with you right now, there's more, but the last one I'll share with you for simplicity's sake. The guy that you're with is into mostly pleasuring you sexually and in life, where he's mostly about pleasuring himself sexually and in life. So just think about it. A guy who enters your life fundamentally to offer something of service versus a guy who enters your life fundamentally to take away what you have. Now, I know there's give and take. And I know that a guy who offers something to you and he's not getting anything back, he's not gonna stay for long. But there's gonna be a stance that he has and his stance is either primarily offering more to the world, to people around him and to you, or mostly taking away from the world, people and you. As I said, these things are not rocket science. It's hard when you're emotionally invested in someone who doesn't have the skills or the tools to be with you long term. But please understand that the things that I'm talking about right now, if you sit down objectively, think about your best friend being in a relationship uh, with a guy that you're with right now and sh her sharing with you what's going on, you can be pretty honest with yourself and say, hey, he's ready for a relationship or he isn't, he's respectful or he's not respectful, he wants marriage or he doesn't. And if you don't know these things, you need to ask him. Hope this is helpful, insightful, and useful and avoids some time wasting on your part. If you find that this is meaningful to you and you want to go deeper and learn more about how to enter the relationship you want, I've created a class for you. All you have to do is go to the first link in the description of this video, enter your name and email, and you'll be immediately redirected to take that free class. If you like this video, <laughs> click like or thumbs up. And last but not least, if you're gauging that this is something that makes sense for you, and you know that videos on their own may not be cutting it to help you create the relationship you want in the time frame that you want it, and you want some hand-holding and help, on the second link in the description of this video, you'll find a way for you to apply, to connect with me, and work potentially. And if we're a fit, I can help you firsthand to enter the relationship you want with a lot less pain and without wasting any more time. Thank you so much for connecting with me, and as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life. Oh, <laughs>